Today on the Retro Zoo Super Show, I choose you. Live from Kakariko Village. Greetings, everybody. Uh, this is the Retro Zoo Super Show, and I am your host, Kai. I am I. I'm going to um. We're going to try to do a shorter episode today because I I am losing my voice. I don't think I don't think it's coming through, um, uh, quite yet. Uh, but but yeah, I am I'm starting to get a little bit of a sore throat and um. I'm, I'm just not gonna. I'm not gonna push it. I, you know, I, I, I actually have. Uh, I have planned some time off coming up. I was gonna do that uh, next week, and I was thinking about moving that to this week. But um, was like, you know what? No, no, that's fine. Um, I, 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 you know, what, what we're going to discuss today will be, you know, more. Um, you know, more topical today than it would be next week. Um, but, uh, it, it, it can also be, can be also be a little bit shorter. So I, you know, I, I do apologize for the shorter episode. I'm actually hoping to get some callers in here to kind of take the pressure off my voice. I, I know like last week I ended up just talking seriously like an hour straight and, um, I was not intending to do that. Uh, but I, but I did it anyways <laughs> and looked up and an hour had passed. And so I'm hope, kind of really hoping that, that that does not happen today and that we get, um, we get a couple of callers in to kind of, uh, offset that a little bit, but two things that, uh, that I, I we wanted to discuss today that are, um, that are, are, are remarkably topical. The, the first is that we did get the April song uploaded onto, uh, uh, up for the pa- uh, patrons on Patreon. Uh, it is the Gemini Man stage music. Uh, that this, this has been the, the most difficult of the three we've done so far. Uh, and, um, easily probably, but possibly, I'm not going to say easily, but possibly the most difficult that we have planned. I, I do have some arrangements that are going to prove challenging later in the year, but, um, but not, not right now. And so, um, we want to debut that, uh, here. If you have not heard on Patre- Patreon already, um, that this song is available as well as the two previous songs, as well as the theme song from Dyson Dreary, um, as well as some of the, uh, the, the songs we did last year. Um, these songs are, 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 for, are, are available at any level on, on Patreon. And so if you join us even for a dollar a month, then you have access to all of these songs and you will have access to, uh, the, the upcoming songs that we are, um, that we are releasing from the Mega Man three soundtrack every month, one a month and, um, trying to, trying to kind of get caught up because we have not, uh, we have not uploaded maze yet. Uh, we've, we're already started on that and, um, hoping to have that that done soon and so please do check that out at patreon.com slash techno funk boy and um uh we we, we really do appreciate uh, any support that 
uh, that we get there. And uh, but during the break, we'll be listening to that. But the other thing is that I actually got to see the Detective Pikachu movie, and it's not exceptionally rare to have a movie based on a video game come out. Um, but I, I haven't talked about a lot of them because they're normally just really not good. Um, they're, they're normally not good at all. And so, um, I, I've, I've really just been kind of, uh, kind of avoiding those. And this one actually is good. And so I wanted to discuss that just a little bit. Uh, I, and unfortunately, you know, this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity to talk about a, uh, com- uh I mean, a, a video game mu- movie that I really enjoyed. And I have not played this video game. We, I watched a little bit of the let's play, uh, kind of read into the plot, uh, just a little bit, uh, to kind of get my bearings on it. Um, but, uh, really, we just wanted to talk, chat about the movie. Uh, now, this was really kind of serendipitous because I, you know, we, 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 uh, we got the preview for the Sonic the Hedgehog movie when watching Detective Pikachu. Now, I had already seen this and we had posted it in up in the Discord page and had a little bit of a conversation about it. Um, but so, you know, there was no surprise there, but it was just, it was just really kind of, kind of interesting. Um, the way, you know, this, this Sonic movie that has just been mercilessly mocked online since the first posters were released that looked just terrible. And the, the preview fared a little bit better, but I, I think that, um, when the preview came out and they, they got the first reactions to it. They like immediately said, well, no, these, the, these, the CGI is not, is not final. It's not final. Uh, and I, I don't know. I think they're going to try to do like a, like a green lantern esque, uh, last minute facelift of this thing. Um, and I, and I will say that the, um, the preview itself looks a lot better than the posters did. The posters just look horrible. Just looked horrible. But seeing Sonic animated and moving was, was a lot better. Um, I, you know, I have, I have this kind of running, uh, running prop. I, I used the word running there and I didn't mean to, but it's completely appropriate. Um, I have this, this, this running grudge, I think, with speedsters in movies in that I think they so very rarely get them right. Uh, and, and what they get wrong is they make, and they make the, sp- the, the speed of the speed sir- variable depending on what is needed in the scene. It's so like, uh, I mean, this was just like really, really very poorly done in, um, uh, in the X-Men, uh, days of future past movie where we had Quicksilver and, um, and he, I, I mean, it was just like his top speed varied so wildly scene to scene where, you know, in, in at his fastest, he's very casually picking bullets out of the sky and, and, you know, it kind of makes for good visuals and kind of, and, and some nice comic relief. But at the same time, it's, it, 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 it's, it's really kind of irritating because it's like, okay, so what you're just basically saying is this guy's invincible. And that, like, I mean, he just becomes one of those just so powerful creatures that, that just having him around actually negates all problems because he can just outrun quite literally anything, even a bullet. Um, and, and, and so it, 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 it takes, for me, it takes a lot of the fun out and, and the, the Sonic trailer does the same thing. And I don't know the situation, but you know, they shoot a bunch of rockets at him and he's just a very, very, very similar scene to, um, to the Quicksilver speed scene. And he's just very casually just kind of bopping them out of the sky when we had no indication at all in any other scene that he's anywhere nearly that fast. 
You know, there, there's there's a big difference between being a blur on the highway and um, and just diverting rockets, you know, with a little flick of the wrist as they're as you know they're in super slow motion, just barely moving at all toward you. And I, it's just, I, yeah, it's it's like besides that scene, I, actually, the, the 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 preview didn't look horrible, horrible. It looked pretty not good. I, I'll say that. I, I'm not even going to go as bad as saying bad, but it looked pretty not good. Um, I I I mean, I, I think the highlight of it was Jim Carrey. Um, I, I essentially essentially doing Ace Ventura with a mustache, which is fine because I absolutely love the Ace Ventura movies and I'd, I'd love for them to do a third one. Um, and it's so that, that to me was the highlight, but Sonic himself just not doing it for me at all. And so I am, um, I'm just, I, you know, th- yeah, this is not something that I've just, I've got my heart set on. Um, and and so coming <laughs> coming out of that and into the into the uh, uh, Detective Pikachu film itself was was quite jarring and um uh and so you know I I wanted to kind of get into Detective Pikachu because you know this thing um <laughs> this thing is is actually quite quite a, a bit of fun and not at all what I was expecting and. Um, and what's, what's kind of weird about it is that I, like, if I had watched the actual plays beforehand, even though the plot itself is, is very close, it's very close to the game, I still wouldn't have expected exactly what I got. Because from what I see from the, from the, the plot is... There, there is quite a bit of mystery there that needs, you know, a detective. Um, and there's the big overarching mystery. So what, what is, what's going on here is that this character, Tim Goodman, is, um, is living kind of out in the, uh, in, a, in a small town. And he gets a call that his father has been in an accident in... Uh, in Rhyme City, and uh, he hasn't seen his dad in ages, uh, really since the since his mother died, and his dad kind of threw himself into work, and so he runs, you, you know, runs. He he travels to the city to kind of try to keep, get things into order. Um, when he meets um, uh, a, a Pikachu who can speak, and only Tim can understand him. And this Pikachu was his father's Pokemon companion, um, and and the Pikachu is convinced that that Tim's father is still alive, and so that kind of introduces us into the main mystery here. Um, so now in the in the game, there's a bunch of smaller mysteries that you kind of deduce out as you go and with actual clues and so like you know like one of the first ones has you comparing feathers of pokemon to try to narrow down what pokemon might have done this thing um and and so it, it you know it's kind of kind of smaller mysteries like that that um that, that kind of kind of uh it, you know it lets you let you flex flex your little kind of logic and and problem solving skills while you're working toward this larger plot now the movie itself kind of takes away all those side quests and the plot the main plot itself really becomes a very large just um almost almost like a summer action film where where the the level of mystery and detective work is pulled back and the level of action and stunning visuals is amped up and and i don't necessarily mind that cuz i i mean this is like you know this is the first attempt on the big screen that we've had 
uh, as far as I know, I, I haven't followed all the Pokemon movies, certainly, but it, but I believe this is the first attempt that we've had to kind of make a live action Pokemon film and to see these cartoon characters made more realistic and and put into into a live action setting. And and it's, it was pretty great. You know, it was it was it was. It was, it was pretty great is to is watching you know the um uh the you know the the like the pidgeots fly uh, across the landscape um and, or the uh uh the apoms you know climbing up on on girders on the side of a building and into signs and you know just these the, the, they had one scene that was just a, just a clip from a video of Squirtles helping to put out a fire, and it was just it was really cool. And the the number of just cameo appearances of Pokemon in this is really kind of really kind of you know takes this what would I mean just kind of what I mean a, a pretty standard science fiction action thriller. And, and puts puts that kind of fun, creative Pokemon veneer on it that is really, really kind of great. Um, and a lot of the Pokemon, I, I mean, the Pokemon themselves, I, I, I mean, I think this thing could be, this movie could have been accomplished with pretty much the same plot with robots taking the place of the Pokemon. But it it would have a completely different feel to it. And and that's been the thing with Pokemon. I mean, from the very beginning is like, you know, it's like Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Red and Blue, when they came out, they're just, they're really, I mean, basically kind of standard JRPGs. Um, and and even even more complex than we would expect from a kid's JRPG, you know, we would expect a little bit uh, more dumbed down, you know, interactions and stuff. But this is, uh, you know, that they, they, they are dealing with. There's a lot of weaknesses, a lot of strengths, and a lot of different characters, and juggling them all. But it's it's still it's still pretty standard. But it's the it's the it's the world. It's the Pokemon themselves. Just. Um, how adorably animated they all are. And there's, there's even a jab at that, you know, where, um, this one, uh, this one character, uh, who is, who's trying to kind of make it as a reporter, but, uh, it, it right now is only working for the blog doing, you know, the top 10 cutest Pokemon. Um, and even she goes, she goes, it's, it's, uh, you know, co- kind of complaining about her job. It's like, it's all of them. They're all cute. And, and it's really true. Just the, the, the character design from these things are, are just really, really great. Um, and, and you get that feel here in Rhyme City. You get, I mean, it, it's, it's in, in every way kind of a science fiction city, except that you see these Pokemon around and you see their personalities coming across in the things you, they do. And so one of the first things you see when you come to town is a Snorlax and he's asleep in the middle of the road. And, and, you know, for the, you know, for those of us who've like played the early games and, and watch the show, it's like, Oh yeah, that's Snorlax. Ha <laughs> ha. You know, but now they're having to, they're kind of having to work around this thing. Um, and, uh, and, it, and it's just kind of great. And to see, and to see Snorlax, uh, in, you know, in kind of com- full computer animation in, a, in a live action environment is, is putting a new depth to it without really losing that, that charm to it. Um, and so th- th- this, these are things that I just, I really appreciated about the movie. Um, it was, it was far from a perfect film. You know, and I, and I really would have liked more of like the detective aspect of it. You know, you, you, that's kind of what I was expecting and, and instead got, kind of got a, got a CGI, you know, action thriller, um, which was fine. Uh, but I, I really would have, 
I would have liked more of the detective stuff. And there were a couple of action scenes that just really did not have a point. Um, except that they were, you know, kind of fun, crazy computer animated chase scenes, uh, which, you know, sometimes you need that, but, but, uh, but they, they could have cut down a little bit on that and more amped up the, the, uh, the other aspects of it. Um, Mewtwo plays, plays a pretty big role in it and that doesn't really give anything away uh the the for the opening sequence focuses on Mewtwo and it's you know the there he's like in this in this little containment field and something goes off and he escapes and then he chases down this car which is um you know, uh, 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 Tim's dad and more explosions in the car is thrown off the road. And so a, a lot of the movie is, is hunting down this Mewtwo and, you know, why, why is he there? What, you know, how did this occur and, and all that stuff. And, um, his, his character, I, you know, there, there's something that's always been fascinating about Mewtwo and, I remember seeing the first Pokemon movie in theaters and I need to rewatch it because I, I, I didn't like it all that much at the time, but even then the, the figure of Mewtwo is, is so imposing the, the, I mean, the design of that, of that Pokemon is, is magnificent. He's so imposing and, and, and so kind of freaky strong. And that really comes across in this, in, in this movie. Um, Mewtwo's just, it, it, it exceedingly great strength. It really does come through. Um, and so I, you know, I, I it, it actually turned out to be a really, really fun film. Uh, Ryan Reynolds was a- absolutely charming as Pikachu. And, um, uh, and so I've, uh, I, I was, I was very, I, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't actually surprised because the previews I thought looked great. And so I was, I was excited about seeing the movie, but I, I was expecting it to really take a very hard, um, kids focused turn. And it really didn't. That's, that's the other thing. It's like, this was not at the, 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 the level of like, of like the, the original show. Which is very specifically designed for young kids. This was, this was very much not at that level at all. This was, this was easily designed. Uh, actually it's almost designed for those of us who grew up with, with, with Pokemon and want, want a kind of fun movie with that, that hits the nostalgia factor. Um, you know, certainly, uh, older kids or teens would enjoy it. Um, but it's, it is not. It's, it's not the, the exact same age group. There's overlap, but it is not targeted at the exact same age group, which I thought was very interesting. It was a very interesting choice. Um, when I, when I watched Let's Play of the, of the video game, it's much more cartoony and, um, uh, and, and seems, seems more kid directed where this one, this one does seem to have a little bit of an older audience in mind. So, um, you know, yeah, it's one of those. Um, it's, it's one of those unicorns, a, a good, a good video game movie. And, uh, and so very, 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 very pleasantly surprised. So, um, we're going to jump to our break and do stay tuned during the break. Cause we're, uh, we're, we're not, we're not playing any commercials today. We're just playing that, uh, the Gemini man song. And I, I think you're going to hear, um, <laughs> we're going to hear what took us so long on it, honestly, but uh, I think you're going to enjoy, um, the, the take we have on this, on this, uh, classic. And, uh, I hope that you will consider supporting us on Patreon where you'll be able to download this in very high quality MP3, um, at, at any time, as well as all the other Mega Man 3 songs that we're doing, uh, again, at any level. So let's check that out. <laughs>
Okay, we are back, and we do have a caller on on line one. Um, caller, you are on there. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hello. Hey, this is Stevie Lee. Oh, hey, Steve. Man, it's been a while since we talked to you. Uh, well, yeah, you haven't talked about much music lately, and so I don't know. I've gotten kind of bored by your show. Well, I, I mean, thanks. I, we're not really. We're not really talking about music today, though. Well, yeah, kind of. Um, I I was I I actually got to see the Detective Pikachu show. Uh, yeah. What'd you think? Well, yeah. I mean, it was fine. Um, I, but there was a song that Pikachu sings, like uh, like a good chunk of the way in the movie, that I thought was like it was like pretty good. It seemed seemed a little familiar. That p- the Pikachu. Pikachu sings. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's all by himself, and he starts singing this song. He's, like, kicking a rock or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, he's singing. That's the, uh, he was singing the, the Pokemon theme song. Whoa. They have a theme song? But yeah, it was a TV show. Didn't you ever watch Pokemon? No. So, like, there's, there's, there's other sh- shows that are out? Uh, Stevie Lee, I... Yeah, what, what, what? So I don't know, man. You like the song? Well, yeah, and I was, I was hoping that maybe you can teach me how to play it. Teach you how to? But Stevie, this is not what this show is really about. I'm, <coughs> I'm, I'm kind of losing my voice. Yeah, I am too. I, uh, I, I. That's not really what the show's about, Stevie. Oh, you're talking about Pokemon, right? I just, I thought my band we could learn we could like play it on uh like our show this weekend. Ah, uh, okay. You know what? It it is a it is a really good it is a really good song. Okay. Um, all right. So you you play guitar, right? Of course. Hold on. Let me get it. No, you don't. You don't need to actually get it. No, no, I got it. It's like right here. here. <laughs> Sounds a little out of tune. I. You know what? That's fine. I'm not like performing. I'm just learning a song. Well, okay, yeah, but I'm I'm trying to keep the the show quality high. No one no one cares about your show quality. All right, so let's just you know, I no one is listening except me and probably Timmy. I we have more than two listeners. I don't think you do. Yes, we do. Okay, ne- you know what? Never mind about our listeners. Okay, no, no, no. Let's play the song. So it was um, uh, something like "I I want to be a pigeon nest." I I want to be the very best. Right. How do you play that? Okay. I mean, it's uh it's minor. So that's um, that's probably minor root, and then uh, seventh, uh, major seventh, um. I don't understand these words. Okay, I, let's do A minor. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, 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 I, I want to be the... No, that's wrong. Okay, no, A minor, G. Uh, A minor, G. You said that already. I, you just repeat it, okay? That's yeah, good. Uh, so F. I don't know, man. Can we bring it down a little bit? I can't sing that high. You know what? You you could bring it down to whatever key you want to. I really don't know how to do that. So let's just keep going. So F. Catch that! Oh gosh, that sounds horrible. Is C. My real. T- All right, now now kind of C. Uh oh, that's interesting. It's gonna be like a um. Uh, a major fourth and then fifth. English. That's our English. Uh, C D E. Nice. Okay. Now repeat. I'll travel across the land, searching for a mine. Teach. 
Pokemon understand the power that's inside. Can you can you do the uh, the Pokemon part? Uh, sure. That that doesn't sound very good. Well, it's outside of my range too. Okay. Okay. All right. I tell you what. Uh, if if you're gonna make me sing, let, let's let's pull this down a little bit. All right. That sounds good. All right. So, so E minor D. Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's start there. Yeah, that's nice. Whoa. Catch them is my real test. To chain them is my cause. I will travel across the land, searching far and wide. To teach your mind to understand the power that's inside. Pokemon, gotta catch them all. It's you and me. I know it's my destiny. Pokemon, oh, you're my best friend. In a world we must defend. Pokemon, our heart's so true. Our courage will pull us through. You teach me and I'll teach you. pretty cool all right see i i'm gonna let you go now wait hold on um i was thinking maybe you could teach me how to sing the mortal Kombat theme stevie no all right bye uh, okay we have another caller uh line two you are on the air hey kai it's greer oh hey greer Hey, Kai, hey, I'm not going to say anything, but I don't think you should be singing that song. You might get in trouble. Uh, thanks, Greer. Thank you. Um, That is going to be it for us today. Like I said, we are doing a little bit of a shorter episode. My uh, my voice is, is legit dying now, so I really do appreciate you sticking with us. I hope you really did. Hope you really did uh, enjoy that Mega Man song. Mega Man? Kai, Kai, you're going to get in trouble. Okay. Greer, hold on. All right, Greer's gone. Um, <laughs> hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we will see you actually in two weeks. I uh, we uh, I am going to be taking next week off. Um, appreciate, uh, I appreciate a whole lot. Um, and kind of <laughs> helps me uh, recover from all the stuff that we're doing between this this podcast and the Dyson Jury podcast. And so uh, really do appreciate that. And we will catch you in two weeks. In the meantime, do hit us up on Discord, on Twitter, on Facebook, wherever you, you, your preferred social media uh, outlet is. And we'll catch you later.